in terms of sustainability, the single most important lesson that the past few decades have taught us is diversity. There is no single solution to building ecologically. Instead, there are solutions to every context, and we must invest ourselves into developing those solutions. Going beyond the basic tenets of ecological design, our work focuses on simplifying the way we build. To a large extent, this means removing as many materials as possible from the construction waste stream, as well as their associated toxins. We call this approach barely finished, referring to the base materials that are left exposed and minimally finished. This, of course, is even better when the base materials are reused or recycled. One of the most important and overlooked aspects of sustainable projects is that in order to be successful, they must also inspire architecturally. On a sensory level, leaving materials barely finished ties us back to our natural environment. Our design approach also serves to express the same idea. Architecture is constructed to the human scale, which is obviously important seeing as these spaces must function and serve our needs. However, one of the most powerful aspects of architecture is when it manages to capture the invisible strength found in our landscape. As an example, the massive wind turbines that are built to harness the invisible size and scale of the wind, or the invisible scale of time expressed by the layers in a canyon carved by water over thousands of years. For us, it comes down to a simple question. In a world of diminishing natural resources, what should we be using? Our research and materials let us to question the entire structure, not just certain parts and areas. Uh, organic materials like wood, straw, uh, these were immediately ruled out, seeing as how they're far too valuable in their natural life cycle. Um, the embodied energy of steel and the costs associated with steel also made that an unrealistic option. Ideally, we're looking for an inorganic system that's as low in embodied energy as possible. So rock, clay, sand, all these are inorganic materials and they're all used in rammed earth. And ultimately, rammed earth is the system that we went with. Rammed earth is one of the world's oldest building materials and has a history in China that goes back thousands of years. From the desert portions of the Great Wall to the round Hakka houses in Fujian. Modernized in the 1970s, rammed earth is currently most common in Australia. It is unfortunately uninsulated, which is unacceptable for us in terms of energy efficiency. Hence, this led us to Canada and the world's only insulated rammed earth system, which is Sirewall. Sirewall stands for Stabilized Insulated Rammed Earth. It is comprised of a plane of insulation sandwiched between two layers of reinforced rammed earth. Once the formwork is stripped and the walls revealed, it is complete. The inorganic earth for the walls is all locally sourced and the blend is carefully engineered. The earth is mixed on site and rammed into formwork layer by layer, recreating the process and look of the sedimentary stone. Rammed earth can approach concrete in strength and in its ability to withstand the elements. The process removes the need for plaster, paint, vapor barriers, sheathing papers and exterior finishes and all other materials associated with standard construction. This removes a phenomenal amount of materials from the construction waste stream. The insulation, combined with the enormous amount of thermal mass, makes this one of the most energy efficient systems in the world. 
Beyond the energy efficiency and the amount of natural resources saved, the local inorganic earth used by the walls makes them appear to rise out of the site, creating a powerful image for local sustainability. We have been developing and adapting the system to eastern China, which is essentially an enormous alluvial basin and provides an excellent source for the elements we need to construct. There is no single solution to building ecologically. However, in a country with minimal natural resources and growing energy demands, Sirewall represents a sustainable alternative to the hundreds of thousands of low-rise structures that are built throughout the country. The construction industry consumes a disproportionate share of the world's natural resources. China is currently in the midst of the biggest construction boom the world has ever seen, yet its natural resources are all but exhausted. Ramdur technology takes advantage of China's existing resources and by doing so has the potential to transform China's building industry and provide a model for sustainable growth. Our goal is to introduce it as a valuable new means of construction for China.